Hi, it's Cathy from Fieldwork Connections. Today I am at Wombian Caves, which is a karst environment, meaning there is limestone around us. And I wanted to show you a few field tests that you can do in limestone, um, primarily testing the pH to think about the physical characteristics of the limestone and then the water that comes through that limestone. So I have a piece of the rock here. It's a lovely light color. And you can see um, the sandstone, not the sandstone, limestone, the limestone around us in this cave. Um, so what I want to do is uh, using this soil pH test, I'm going to put a sample of the limestone and put a couple of drops of universal indicator onto it and then use some barium sulfate powder to soak up that color change. In fact, I don't even know, need that much powder. You can see that it's changed color to that purple. You can see the purple in this, about eight or eight and a half. So that means that it's slightly alkaline. So now I'm gonna take a sample from the water that's flowing through the creek um, coming into this cave. And I'm going to use a little sample container like this and just pop down here, <laughs> fill up the sample jar about halfway and again, using a indica uh, universal indicator, I'm going to put one drop into the sample, maybe two drops, to see it change colour. Put the lid back on that. And have a look at the colour that it's changed into. So we're using the colour change chart. You can see that it's quite a purpley red colour here. Having a look here on the colour change chart, I would say it's between seven and a half and eight. So that is similar to what we're finding in the rocks. So as the water seeps down through these rocks, it's taking on the pH of the rocks around it. Now, when we're thinking about why limestone has a pH, which is slightly alkaline, yes, it is a sedimentary rock, but it didn't form in a freshwater river system. It formed under the ocean. So the calcium carbonate, which is dissolved in the ocean um, and then ends up in the sediments on the ocean floor, the um, slightly alkaline environment that that is, it's retained in the rock. So that is why we see that um, the pH of the rocks around here are about eight or eight and a half. And now we can just have a bit of a look at the cave systems that form. The water comes down through the cracks and dissolves the calcium carbonate out. I've made it into the limestone gorge. You can see just behind me here the beautiful bedrock confinement on either side of the walls and I thought I might wade in a little way and use my water probe to do a pH test of the water. Oh it's not too cold. Okay so I'm just going to turn it on and check that it is set on pH. If it wasn't set on pH I can use the mode cal button down the bottom to scroll through and I'm going to hold it in the water and wait for it to stabilize so right now it's reading it's just gone down from nine I mean it wasn't nine it's just what it was on originally and it's falling water temperature says 19 degrees so that's quite warm I mean it is March you can imagine it would be very cold here in July Oh, I can see some little water bugs in here. Some little um, dragonfly nymphs or mayfly nymphs. It'd be pretty good to do a um, biological survey of this area of the creek to see what the, um, the biological health of the creek is as well. So it's just stabilized at 8.2. So that's what we would anticipate in a limestone or cast environment. Um, slightly alkaline. 
due to the nature of the calcium carbonate which is dissolved in the rocks and then into the water.